So I just got a quick word for you guys. This video is inspired by the recent book I'm reading by Ray Dalio. This video is also inspired by some recent events that happened in my life recently. And I think it's very important for you guys to understand this concept and think about it. I think it'll help you guys in the long run. One of the biggest things that I've learned listening to this audiobook recently is that in this world, on this planet, no matter the society, see, a person is a microcosm of the society. And the society is connected to the individual person. So the things I'm about to explain in this video go hand in hand with a society and they go hand in hand with your personal life. There is no comfortability or security on this planet. I'm starting to understand the wisdom from the Jewish. Understand the wisdom of the Talmud. There's no such thing as retirement, security. In the book, he references over and over about the cycle. A society on the rise after it goes to war whether it be a civil war with itself or a war with an opposing enemy. After the war, the winners organize a new world order. And there's peace and prosperity after the war. Normally the winners become more productive in their society. They become more innovative. They begin to become more hardworking and more educated. Literacy tends to skyrocket. New findings in science, new findings in technology, the advancement of humankind seems to flourish in these stages. The societies built by men in these societies tend to overtake the rest of the societies throughout the world, making them the ones that establish the new world order. Just like with anything else, The cycle begins to start where things begin to end. All good things tend to come to an end. And this is where my topic comes in. Societies that are on the top usually crumble because they get comfortable 
They tend to indulge in pleasure. The governments tend to spend more on things that they want instead of things that they need. Ultimately, leading for the country to be in leading for the country to be overstretched financially where they can't pay their debts off. Now they're on the verge of a financial crisis. The people are unproductive, not educated. And the cycle just continues to go down and down until a new society takes the new spot and the cycle continues. In a capitalistic society, you cannot be comfortable. You'll be working until you die. If you work for somebody, you shouldn't be comfortable. Because at any moment, for any reason, they can inconvenience you, close your center down, close the business down. Due to economic crises or due to that area losing money, it could be a multitude of reasons. But since you put all your eggs in that one basket, you were relying on somebody else for your survival, you're always at the hand of them. And oftentimes, they're going to do what's best for the corporation, not what's good for you personally. If you're an entrepreneur, you definitely cannot get comfortable. There's going to be slow seasons in the business and hot selling seasons in the business. You're gonna to have to sustain profits. You're gonna to have to put money back. You're gonna to have to continually grow and grow. And looking for new opportunities to invest, looking for new businesses to invest in, new assets to invest in. The game never ends. Because the moment you get comfortable in that entrepreneurial journey, another business will buy your business or they'll outperform your business. And now you don't have a business anymore because people are going somewhere else. You have to take this life seriously. And Pat, like I said in a video last week, you have to have your priorities in order. You have to be intelligent and smart. Invest in yourself, your, your education. Be very productive and be always looking for opportunities. Because that nine to five shit ain't it no more. And if you just gonna think, gonna jump in the entrepreneurial lane and just be okay, it's even harder. Not that, not only that, you have to invest in assets that accumulate over time and be watching the markets on a daily basis. The real estate market might be up this time. It might be down this time. If you keep that asset while it's down, you might lose a lot of money. It might be a good opportunity to buy when it's down. So when it goes back up, you can sell it. The economies are changing. New countries are coming in. New markets are coming in that you need to that you might need to get into and sell to 
there's no guarantees in life. You have to be steadfast on your feet at all times. Because to be truthfully honest, at any moment, you can be done. And it usually comes when you get comfortable, when you're not on your P's and Q's, a fall is just around the corner. So that's my video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video. And we'll be back with another one. We're out.